always been thinking about doing something cosmetic for my nose. I have a little bump here that I would like to get rid of it. And also, I feel like by aging, uh, the tip of the nose comes down a little. So I would like to have the tip go up a little bit. I don't want to make it something really teeny tiny, small. I want something that fits my face, my, my features, and uh, it's just a prettier version of my nose. She's having a few things done. A lot of what we're doing is going to be fixing her nasal airway obstruction because she does not breathe good through her nose at all, and she has chronic sinus issues. So my sinus expert, Dr. Deer, is going to work on opening up her sinuses while I fix her deviated septum, turbinates, and aesthetically make her nose look proportionate and more harmonious with the rest of her face. Uh, we got a CT scan because we suspected that she had chronic sinusitis and we'd like to treat the entire patient um, if we're going to go under surgery is to do all parts. The sinuses are air-filled cavities in the bone, so there's two above the eyes, two between the eyes, two beneath the eyes, and the two behind the eyes. And what we're starting to see is that the septum is deviated a little bit here, and what we see is that this is not black, this should be air. What we see here is that we have the sinuses underneath the eyes filled with chronic infection. You can see she has a nasal hump, she has some asymmetry, and she has a little bit of a twisted appearance, as well as the tip is very boxy. It essentially has kind of an octagon shape, and when she turns all the way up, you can see that it's a very boxy wide tip. So we're gonna go bring these cartilages in and trim this part and get her to look more like a narrow, soft diamond shape. So on the profile, when we look, we can see that this part's a little too tall. I like to bring this part a little closer to the face so the eyes pop and shine. We're gonna give her a very subtle, natural curve, not too deep. And a lot of the work I'm gonna do is rearranging the cartilage completely in the tip. When she smiles, this becomes flatter, the nose looks longer, and the tip droops down. We're gonna position the tip appropriately, fill in the cartilage here for support and breathing, and narrow it like we talked about, and shave her hump down. Based on my research, there are two of the best doctors out there for both of my procedures. The dorsal aesthetic line's marked out. They're super wide right now. This is the ascending prostate maxilla coming up. So I'm gonna put these in, tuck them in, medialize the nasal bones by doing a low to high J-shaped osteotomy with a fragment here that's green stick that's gonna move in with us to allow a smooth transition from the brows down to the tip defining points. You can see her profile now. It's a beautiful profile. It's gonna be about here when we're done. Not too scooped, not too curved, not too straight. The appearance of my nose is much, much prettier and it fits my face much better. So you can see one of the things that I did was to build up her profile. She has a little bit of tip swelling still here. Skin like hers with the large pores, etc., can sometimes take longer than a year to get that final definition. Occasionally one, two to three years is needed to see that last little bit of the nuances of tip shaping. The final product is here, which you can see the little curve that we talked about having on her before. What this does is it makes her eyes pop and look bigger, makes her whole face look refreshed and younger in addition to fixing the breathing. When you look on the front view, you can see the tip has definition here and the highlights are more congruent, but they're still her. You can see right now she has more of a confluence. It still is a little bit round, so it's still her. Looks like her nose, but it's more natural. And the good thing about it is that uh, people notice a change about me but it's so subtle that they can't really pinpoint, you know, what's changed. I can't be happier with the results. <laughs>